the art and the stories, everything about our cultures tied to the land. Tied to art is steeped in our ancestors' knowledge. It's something that has been passed down to us. I've heard Haida art described as a dance between flow and form. Everything comes out of the shape before it. I started carving probably around 16, working on smaller pieces and working on a few holes with my dad. I always knew I'd be carving in one way or another. I like all the process actually having those moments when the wood chips are just coming off and stuff and you just relax and get into it. The roughing out is nice because you know everything comes out quickly you know you can see it but more than that through the process of carving you sort of delve into the old stories and convey that into the piece itself. All over the island there's the evidence of our ancestors work. Right here you can see they pulled the bark off for weaving. The tree I'm carving right now is about 500 years old. And this, this tree here is probably at least a thousand. So when I was sort of early 20s, I was doing surveying. We spent, you know, day after day in the forest around these old trees and seeing, you know, some of the old canoes that were shaped out and left in the forest it inspired me to get carving and, you know, I really loved that work, but, you know, it also made me want to get, get a hold of those trees and start working on something myself too. I couldn't imagine not carving. It's a really good feeling to be doing it in the simplest sense creating something with my hands and working at it and seeing a creation at the end of the project, you know, it's quite satisfying. But more than that, delve into the old stories and read old texts and learn as much as you can about the stories. I feel pretty lucky to be able to make a living at it. <laughs>